Good morning, everyone. The topic, perhaps a question. Do you know your history? Do you know exactly how you are making your life history? How do you want your history to conclude? Can you prophesy to your own life? Have you said any time about your history to your family? What is in the minds of your own family about you? What your spouse thinks about you? What your children think about you? What your entire extended family think about you? You know, in the Bible, Joseph, Joseph prophesied about his bones and about his graveyard, about the conclusion of his history. Joseph prophesied about his history and to his family. Genesis chapter 50, 24 and 25 say, And Joseph said to his brethren, I am dying, but God will surely visit you. That's the prophecy. God will surely visit you and bring you out of this land to the land of which God swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Verse 25 says, Then Joseph took on oath from the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones from here. The significance of your life will be exposed at the conclusion of your life. You know, we are all living, we are working because our life should be exposed significantly. You know, people will come to know how you lived only at the end of your history. Your history is important. Life is nothing but creating your own legacy while you live. You know, Joseph prophesied about his bones even before 400 years. Bible says even after 400 years, his family remembered Joseph and his prophecy. And Joseph said, God will visit you. And after 400 years, his family members fulfilled his desire and by which the prophecy about himself was fulfilled. Where it was fulfilled, Exodus chapter 13, verse 19 says, And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had placed the children of Israel under solemn oath, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones from here with you today. Why don't you dare to prophesy about yourself? Melky, you will be like that. And you can say your name and you prophesy yourself. And if you dare to prophesy yourself, what is that prophecy which will expose the significance of your life? Let's not just go along the wind, but let's stick with our prophecy. God permits you to prophesy yourself as God permitted Joseph to prophesy about himself. May the Lord bless you as you take a minute to consider that your history is very valuable. Your life is so significant. Today, this morning, prophesy yourself. Let's pray. God, permit us to prophesy ourselves so that our life will be based on prophecy. Our life will be based toward the fulfillment of the prophecy. Send us the power and the spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.